Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Well, you may know her from Metro Council District 2, but she's here today to tell us about an exciting event that's going to be taking place at the Jewel J. Newman Community Center. Tawna Banks is here to tell us all about the Masquerade Ball and auction that's coming up. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Niels. Thank you for having me. For the folks who might not be familiar with this great event, obviously it, it's an important event in an important part of town. Um, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, um, this is our second um, masquerade ball and silent auction. It's an annual fundraiser as a part of the George A. Newman Community Center campaign, capital campaign. And uh, last year was phenomenal. We actually uh, raised about $20,000 to match a $15,000 grant for Kaboon to build a playground. Wow. And so this year we um, are fortunate to have year two of our capital campaign in which we would like to do upgrades to our outdoor stage and our indoor stage. For folks who might not be familiar with it, I mean that community center is really such an important part of the community. There's always lots going on and it really is a great benefit to the folks who live around there, isn't that right? Absolutely. Um, the Jewel J. Newman Community Center will actually be celebrating its 40th anniversary uh, later this year and it is located in North Baton Rouge. It is a focal point for social activities, recreation, medical, social services. So it basically serves multiple purposes throughout the community and we have great uh, quite a few community partners uh, schools that use our facility nonprofits and uh, we just would like to make sure that the physical edifice of the community center is where we could just expand those you know with record with the arts um, and just some outdoor play and things like that well, I know that, you know, events like this are always, um, if they're going to be successful, it always takes a team effort. And so I know Baton Rouge is a very giving community. And yes. if someone would be interested in being a sponsor of this, what do they need to do? Right. Um, we will, at the Jewel J. Newman Community Center, if they would call 225-775-3935. And if it gets difficult, it's 77 Jewel, which <laughs> is the first name of our first councilman that um, nice. was in this area. And uh, we do have sponsor levels from 5,000 to um, 500. We're also selling tickets to the event, um, $40 for individual or a table of eight for $300. Um, it was a fantastic event, live entertainment one more time, uh, catering, uh, Maud and Jimmy. Um, we hope the Zulu uh, <laughs> Indians will be there. Right. It is a formal affair. So the women's, women have an opportunity to wear their long gowns, men with tuxedos or suits, but it's an awesome occasion. Um, the community really comes around to help us with the silent auction items. And um, we can, even though it is located in North Baton Rouge, I would say that the surrounding parishes and all areas of um, East Baton Rouge all participate, so we are very excited. Well, this is a town that loves a good party, definitely, yes. and even even so much the better if it's for a good cause. Absolutely. And also, you mentioned the auction earlier. You're always looking for items to put in that, right? Right. Any uh, businesses that are in the area, uh, we had Kendra Scott last year. We had uh, k and Menswear. So we have Reeves. We have uh, the Umbrellas. So we just about anything that they would like to um, donate to our silent auction again 225 77 jewel or 775-3935 we would be very happy for any donations um, any sponsorships of course we want people to come out in round numbers and the silent auctions uh, last year they all went and um, they were really a blessing to our, our benefit to benefit us Obviously, it's a great cause, a uh, good time for everyone to have out there, and I know they're going to want to take part of it. Thanks so much for coming on Thank and telling us so all about it. Thank you so much for having me. I look forward to all the community coming together to work with us. You bet. Well, you might know their name from physical therapy, but do you know that they're also a leader in pelvic health? It's Peak Performance. Take a look. Pelvic floor therapy is something that lots of people don't know about um, or know that they can get help for. It's a very sensitive subject. People don't really like to talk about it around here, about bladder dysfunction, bowel dysfunction, or any kind of pelvic pain. But it's very common for women, uh, especially after having babies or in the menopausal years. So having a place like this is a very comfortable place for them to come so that they can get treatment for their um, 
pelvic muscle dysfunction and we can really work to eliminate the bladder and bowel symptoms. So at the initial evaluation, um, we sit and talk where the patient tells me their symptoms, I get a good medical history on the patient, and then I explain to them the function of the pelvic muscles related to their bladder or bowel dysfunction. When we come into the treatment room, we use the biofeedback technology to get a muscle reading. Uh, we watch it on the computer screen, the patient watches it with me, we analyze the muscle strength, I show the patient this is what um, your strength looks like, this is what we're looking for. We also look at resting pelvic muscle tone, endurance, coordination, and we do this each time the patient comes to therapy. Uh, when they go home, they do not have the technology obviously, but they have homework that they practice, and then once they come back, we check and compare from session to session to make sure that we're giving the right exercises and that we're improving uh, strength from uh, as the weeks go on. It was a friend of uh, Lacey's, Lauren, and she was my physical therapist. And so we discussed, I was telling her about some issues that I had, and she uh, told me about Lacey. And I said, you know, I'd really like to try that. And uh, she told me a little bit about it, and I had some issues that I thought Lacey would be able to help me with. And consequently, that's exactly what happened. She was able to help me with a lot of things that had been on my mind and I'd been worried about because I I have frequent things to happen to me and I didn't want to uh, have surgery in other words and so throughout this uh, sessions that we've had it's all work it's been very beneficial strengthening is I would say only about 50% of what goes on here though um, the other 50% is education um, I really I think it's extremely important to educate the patient on how the bladder and how the pelvic muscles work together so that you can use those muscles to retrain and to eliminate the symptoms. She gives me a lot of information that I can use at home. Everything we go through, she gives me papers that have the instructions for things that I can do at home, the exercises I can do at home, and which is really beneficial to me. Patients really um, feel so much better about themselves after coming to therapy. I have lots of patients who will come in and say, I can't go anywhere without going straight to a restroom. And then they'll a few weeks later come back and say, I went to eat dinner and I didn't even have to go to the restroom the whole time I was there. That's huge. That's I'm at the end of it, end of my sessions now, and everything has, she got me up to exactly where she wanted me to be, the percentage was. And so I'm good to go. I can graduate now. And, that's what I'm going to do. As an occupational therapist, it's a very rewarding feeling to know that you've changed someone's quality of life. And that's really what it's all about. Um, we look at the computer a lot when we're doing our exercises and everyone says, what number do I have to, how strong do I have to be to, to, to get rid of my symptoms? And there's no set number. There's no set, if you contract your muscles and squeeze to 20 millivolts, you won't leak anymore. It's, it's different for every single patient. It's specific to each individual and when people are very dedicated to exercising and to um, and, and, and making the changes that are necessary, they see huge impacts. Their results are amazing and um, they tell everybody they know now. They talk about it all the time because they feel like everybody needs to know um, about this place and you've got to come to therapy. It helped me so much. For more information, you can look us up at peakphysicaltherapy.com or call us at 225-292-2526. The Peak Pelvic Floor Clinic is located on Jefferson Highway uh, in between Blue Bonnet and Airline. I really thought that this Blue Bonnet Jefferson area was a great place to be to accommodate patients coming from all parts of Baton Rouge. If you come and see us at the Peak Pelvic Floor Clinic, I promise to help improve your quality of life, make you feel comfortable, and help get your life back. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out what a great local organization is doing to keep your kids moving. Don't miss it.